Federico Mahora. No, not a luxury chocolate brand or a posh wine company. They make clones. Very good clones, in fact. Enjoy the video. Yes, uh, Federico Mahora. I was sent these brilliant uh, samples from a wonderful lady um, on Instagram. Now, she sent me these perfumes. Uh, she will be linked down in the description below. Um, as she is one of the ladies and people out there that distribute these very interesting fragrances. Oh, there's so many. There's what a collection they have. Um, they distribute them uh, across the country. Um, and basically, this company, Federico Mahora, they bring people in to do this, and it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what, whether you work for a company or whatever, you can do it, no matter who you are. And basically, you sell a perfume at a certain price and you can keep the profit. That's how it is. If you'd like to learn more a little bit about that, you can message her on Instagram. As I said, her Instagram will be in the link in the description. Um, but thank you to her for sending me out these samples. So the first perfume I was sent by the Scottish Life Fragrances is 901. Now, this is a clone of Tom Ford's Costa Azura. Now, I had to check that actually because I've never smelled this fragrance. I've only smelled two Tom Ford's. I am not experienced, fully, like, hugely experienced in the more expensive fragrances in the market. I just don't have the money to do that right now. I would like to, and I'm going to try them out as much as I can so I can give my impressions and, and compare clones and things like that. But right now, you know, I'm focusing more on the higher end designer fragrances. If those are the kind of price ranges I'm going at. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to tell you what I think. I can't tell you how close it is to the genuine fragrance, but it's it's fresh and it's lovely. It's a lovely citrus. There's a floral aspect to this as well, which I assume is why it's being considered as a unisex fragrance. Um, it's it's not got a really deep, earthy heartiness that um, would generally be um, perceived as masculine. Very very wearable for me, um, for many men, but I think it's also quite wearable for any woman as well because this citrus creates a very unisex feel and uh, uni you know unisex is kind of defined by the midpoint between men's and fem uh, female's fragrances um, and citrus would be there to highlight that uh, so yeah that's very very nice and it's seemed to you know adapt into quite a floral scent and it's remaining um, as being quite pungent um, it's got a good good sillage um, good sillage now this next one is 152 um, and I seem to recall that she said this is uh, a, a clone of Gucci Pore Ohm. I'm not a big fan of Gucci Pore Ohm, to be honest. Um, I maybe should have mentioned that before getting these. Uh, but you know what, I'll just give my, my best impressions I can, and I'm going to take into consideration the fact that it's not my favourite fragrance in general. It's got that recognisably sweet top note. Um, you know, kind of green as well. Um, it's fresh, um, whilst possibly being versatile enough to move into the later months of the year. Um, it's the greenery, it almost feels a little bit like clary sage, it's got touches of woodiness um, and the, the spiciness is certainly there as well. But overall it's quite a lethargic scent. It's a little bit like a Marmite in the fragrance world. Um, and I think they've captured it very well actually. So if you enjoy Gucci Porum, this is certainly a way to go with 152. Um, and if you don't like Gucci Poron, they've done a very good job of capturing that scent. Next one is 720 and this is going to be Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau. Not one of their most popular fragrances in fact um, with Le Mal. I haven't really ever understood. It's got, um, it's got a sort of uh, detergent vibe, kind of lemon, a lemon wash, floor wash. Do not let that deceive you though. This is a brilliant smell. This is the kind of smell that you walk into a cleaned room and go, oh, that's nice. Maybe you don't say that to your friends. <laughs> Maybe you don't say, oh, do you like that smell of that clean room? But it's certainly in your head. It's um, it's very nice. It's, it's got, some, it's certainly sweet, um, which makes it kind of a mass appealing fragrance. And I think that it's quite an attractive scent. Um, and it would, it's, it's a nighttime scent really. It could work in the nighttime. Um, Maybe not so much in the height of summer, whilst it does have touches of freshness because it's got a bit of citrus. It's got a kind of candy floss vibe as well, but a, an evening scent, very enjoyable, and I think that um, females are also going to enjoy the, the smell as well. They've captured, in general, this fragrance incredibly, and 
it seems to be a running theme now that there are, I mean, I can't compare it with the initial uh, Tom Ford fragrance, but it seems to be a running theme that they're doing very well in creating fragrances that, remin that are very, very reminiscent of the genuine scent. Um, and that's great um, for, a, for a company that's trying to do that. Um, and the prices in which they, they range these are just unbelievable. Um, you can get a, a full size bottle. It obviously, it depends on the dealer that you're going to. And that's what makes this, this kind of company so interesting. And I do recommend you go to the lady that sent me here um, with all these. She's obviously a very nice person. You can talk to her. She does great sales, all, all these deals. She just seems like a genuinely nice lady and she genuinely does do good deals. Um, if I get full size bottles of these, I can promise you I will be going to her for them. Um, so yeah, this does a very good job of capturing that in the book. It's certainly got kind of vibes of one million isn't it, in there as well. One million um, Lucky, which is a beautiful fragrance. Uh, so yeah, totally recommend it. Now you can't do a clone haul without Creed Aventus clones in there. There's so many of them out there. Is this going to be anything like as good as the rest? How is it going to smell? I guess we'll see. Now, it's always interesting to see different companies' interpretations of Creed Aventus, but when, you know, you, know, you kind of come straight out and say, this is what it smells like, you know, it's more interesting because you know that they're really trying to capture that fragrance. And they've done it incredibly well. They have... Okay, they've actually done it better than, than Zara have, actually. Yeah, that is exactly like Creed Aventus. That is exactly like Creed Aventus. Um, you know, whilst many, many companies capture this, this the kind of uh, the, the spicy, earthy, and not earthy in a dirty way, but earthy in, in a natural smelling way, really struggling. It's always very difficult for me to describe uh, Creed Aventus because uh, I've never been a huge fan of it, but recently I've kind of eased myself into it. I've been like the most completely unpopular opinion on Creed Aventus recently, but no, it's been getting a lot, I've been enjoying it more. But they've managed to incorporate the, the, the citrus that's in, in Creed Aventus as well. Um, what a brilliant, fresh fragrance this is. Um, and what a brilliant, fresh fragrance Creed is as well. This is on point, completely on point. We just need to see how it, how it, um, how it projects. And I think I'm probably going to have to do a video of like my ranked of five good Creed Aventus clones because I have so many now. Uh, um, just it's a couple samples, but also you've got Mont Blanc Explorer, you've got uh, Vibrant Leather behind me. Um, there's so many of them out there. So I think I'm probably going to have to do a video on Creed Aventus clones at some point. But this is very, very good. The best clone I've smelt so far. Maybe the Fragrance Apprentice should try this one out because he obviously seems to be a very big fan of Mont Blanc Explorer. This maybe is one that he should give a try. And finally, we have... Sorry, these, these things are tiny. I've, I've dropped them <laughs> so many times. We have 718. This is a clone of Boss Now, a fragrance I've never smelled before. I love my Boss fragrances. I think I've got... Well, I've got so many. I've basically got almost the entire Boss Bottled line. Oh, I've got Boss In Motion, I've got Boss Orange, I, I've got so many, many Boss fragrances, but this one I don't have. So I'm just gonna base it on how I think the smell is. And actually, this could be my way of deciding whether or not I want to get the fragrance because they've been pretty on point so far, these fragrances. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lovely leather, smart fragrance. It's got a roundness to it. It's nothing sharp, nothing's protruding, spiky, um, nothing that kind of makes you recall yeah very smooth it's possibly got vanilla in there just probably amber in there too there's definitely without doubt any pepper there's certainly some pepper in there whether it be pink pepper as well to kind of create a more soft tone to it um, that would be fairly possible because black pepper may be a little bit to um, have too much oomph for a fragrance like this overall I really do enjoy that I enjoy that kind of uh, leisure like um, suit like fragrance, something that a man that's going to be going into a meeting is going to wear and is just going to blend in. It's, it's just something that's going to really, really fit into any situation, but it's going to be enjoyable for others to smell, you know? It's, it's not going to capture people's attention, it's not, like a, it's not like a showstopper, but it's certainly not something that's going to offend anyone. It's a brilliant fragrance. Boss now, I need to try that now. It's 718. What fragrance? So. That is my kind of tester tryout done. 
overall, I have liked all but one of these, and the reason I dislike one of them isn't because it's been poorly made or anything like that, it's just because it's a clone, a very good clone in fact, of a fragrance. So thank you very much for sending these out. Um, please do check her link down below, give her a message, she will most likely um, give you you know, an idea of the, the range that, that they sell, um, all the different fragrances, what they smell like. Um, I know she's a very nice lady just to talk to in general if you're just looking for someone to get a bit of advice off these um, FM fragrances, they call them the FM world. Thank you once again. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, give me an idea of what you'd like to see next time because you know I haven't said that recently but I really do like hearing your comments and what you'd like to see in the next video and what you thought of this video. So yeah, please do like, subscribe, comment and I will see you next time on Mr. Fragrance.